Uh, I was also approached by a composer who'd read some of my poems and felt that they were very uh, 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 vivid and, and powerful in the language use and, and gritty and dirty and, and outspoken and nasty uh, and so on. And, and uh, this appealed to him, uh, James Rolfe, uh, who is a composer and an opera composer as well. And he wanted to break out of the mode of atonal experimental music that he had basically been trained in. And he wanted to do something that was going to be closer to traditional opera, but was also going to have, you know, lots of violence and, and blood and, and sex scenes and, and all that. Right, so uh, Quentin Tarantino basically put to opera. This that was his interest, and he knew I was the guy to do that. So he asked me to write a libretto for him, and we decided on the story of Beatrice Cenci, an Italian noblewoman who uh, murdered her father uh, in 1590 something, uh, uh, just outside of Rome, and and uh, uh, she claimed in her defense. Uh, that her father had raped her, and so this was her uh, violence, her her revenge, her vengeance, and and uh, so uh, the story had everything: blood, guts, intrigue, crime, up the yin yang, film noir as sex. opera, sex, her crying out loud, lots of sweat and blood and drool, saliva, bodily fluids flying everywhere. <laughs> Especially when the singers sing, the saliva <laughs> is flying through the air for crying out loud, the gusto, right? So, of, of the voice, vocalizations, and, and so on. So anyway, I, I did write that uh, libretto and called it Beatrice uh, Chancy, uh, playing off Beatrice Chenchi, of course. I took the, the basic plot, but I set it in, in the Annapolis Valley of Nova Scotia during slavery. And my Beatrice is mixed race. Um, her father is her master, who's white. Her mom is black, who's died. Uh, and she is her she is her father's daughter and also his slave simultaneously. The the drama begins or the tragedy begins, and it is a tragedy. It's a five act uh, play, and a, and I think it's a five act libretto. It is it's a five act libretto. No, four act libretto, as well. Uh, uh, the tragedy unfolds when she falls in love with another slave, a black man, whose name is at first Led, and then it becomes Lead. Uh, just the different, different pronunciation of the letters, of course. And, and her father uh, flies into a jealous, sexually jealous rage uh, over Led, who he can't stand, can't stand the idea of his daughter being with Led. Uh, and so he chains and, and brands uh, lead, and he rapes Beatrice. Uh, and, and so then uh, Beatrice goes about organizing his demise. Uh, and at the end, all the surviving major characters are hanged. Uh, good Jerry. old British justice. <clears throat> So uh, that's, that's the opera. It debuted in 1998. Rave Reviews made a star out of Misha Ruger Gossman and, and uh, uh, got produced again in 1999 and again in 2001 as a full opera and has not been seen uh, since. And where was it produced? Uh, it was produced at the, at the uh, Citadel Theater in Edmonton, second time. It was also produced at, at uh, Eastern Front Theater, did it. Uh, also in 1999, and it was also filmed by CBC Television and done for Adrian Clarkson Presents. Uh, that's where I saw part of it. That's where I saw part of it. It was the first Canadian opera to be on television in 30 years.